Tonight's headlines, outdoor exercises now allowed. Duma goes a firm on 2022 presidential bid. COVID-19 cases in the country at 2,453,328. JV Ejercito I Senate Comeback Easter leaves to bring isolated rain showers And Philippine stocks gauge improves further Good evening, today is Friday, September 24, 2021 I'm Miguel Palatagon and this is Tribune News on Q Here are the stories for this evening Malacanang said Friday that individuals are now allowed to do outdoor exercises regardless of the alert level in place in, in an area. Presidential spokesman Harry Roque said the latest decision of the interagency task force allowing outdoor exercises covers everybody, including those below 18 years old and those above 65 years of age, and those with immunodeficiencies, comorbidities, or other health risks, and pregnant women provided that the outdoor exercise will be done in general area of their residence, such as within the barangay, purok, subdivision, and or village. Roque noted that it will be effective immediately. Likewise, the government has allowed gatherings for necrological survive services, wakes, inurement, funerals for those who died of causes other than COVID-19 as well as for the remains of COVID-19 disease, provided that the same shall be limited to immediate family members upon satisfactory proof of their relationship with the deceased and with full compliance with the prescribed minimum public health standards. Manila Mayor Francisco Isco Moreno Domagoso has remained firm on his 2022 presidential run, ruling out possibilities of running as vice president shall bet under a united opposition ticket. Moreno issued his remark days after formally announcing his presidential bid with Dr. Willie Ong as his running mate. Moreno also said he is already satisfied with having Dr. Ong as his running mate. Still, Moreno said he is touched with all parties who want reconciliation and unity, including those from the Duterte administration. The Department of Health reported 18,659 confirmed COVID-19 cases on Friday to bring the total number of infected in the country to 2,453,328. This brought the active cases to 175,324 and of the total, 88.1% are mild, 6.9% are asymptomatic, 1.5% are severe, and 0.7% are in critical condition. The number of recoveries, on the other hand, rose to 2,240,599 after 9,088 patients recovered from the deadly disease. The death toll remained at 37,405 with no fatalities recorded. Meanwhile, the country's intensive care unit beds for COVID-19 patients remain at high risk. High risk means the occupancy rate is more than 70% but less than 85%. Tribune News on Q will be back after these reminders. It's time for the world to know. Outstanding Filipinos in America. The 11th Outstanding Filipinos in America Awards 2021. A salute to the heroes of coronavirus. Coming back live in person. Carnegie Hall in New York City, home to TOFA Awards since 2011. In other news, former Senator Joseph Victor J.V. Ejercito will seek a Senate comeback in 2022 as he declared his senatorial bid after failing to enter the Magic 12 in the 2019 national and local elections. 
The former senator vowed to continue his advocacy on universal health care and infrastructure development in the country. Sticking to his 2019 campaign slogan, The Good One, Ejercito said he will root his campaign on his track record. To recall, Ejercito had blamed his half-brother, former Senator Jingoy Estrada, for his loss in the 2019 polls. Both lost their Senate bids at the, same, at the time. State Weather Bureau Pag-asa announced that warm winds from the Pacific Ocean called the Easter Lice are affecting Luzon. In its 24-hour forecast, the state weather agency said partly cloudy to cloudy skies with isolated rain showers are expected over Metro Manila and the rest of the country due to the Easter lies and localized thunderstorms. Pag-asa warned against possible flash floods or landslide during the severe thunderstorms. Based on the 11 a.m. Tropical Cyclone advis Advisory, a severe tropical storm called Minjule was estimated outside the Philippine area of responsibility at 1,905 kilometers east of southern Luzon. And in business, the Philippine Stock Exchange Index sustained its rally on Friday after the widely expected no-change rate decision of the Federal Reserve, but the peso depreciated against the U.S. dollar. The main stocks index rose by 36.25 points or 0.52% to 6,951.53 at the closing bell. The broader oil shares followed with a jump of 21.14 points or 0.49% to 4,323.64. The Hina Capital Development Corporation head of sales, Luis Limningan, said that Philippine shares extended their gains after the Federal Reserve offered no surprises. The officials penciled in at least one interest rate hike next year. Volume totaled 2.11 billion shares amounting to 8.95 billion pesos. Gainers led losers at 103 to 79, while 67 shares were unchanged. On the other hand, the peso weakened against the U.S. dollar after closing the week at 50.65 from 50.34 on Thursday. That wraps up the stories tonight. Before we go, I would like to thank the SM Store, Araneta City, Department of Tourism, and Overseas Community Affairs Council member Alanin of the Republic of China for their continued support. Again, this is Miguel Patagonan, and you're watching Tribune News on Q. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay at home. Good night and God bless us all. This public service advisory is brought to you by Daily Tribune and 100.3 RJFM. Oh, vaccination, isolation, gotta keep up with my nutrition, gotta maintain my body condition, then I can take my vaccination. What do I choose? What do I take? As long as it is not a fake. AstraZeneca, Moderna, BioNTech, even Sinovac, okay now. Vaccination for the nation, no more isolation. With vaccination. This public service advisory is brought to you by Daily Tribune and 100.3 RJFM. Magpabakura kayo!